Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa, also known as the Mystical Vila. Today is going to be a Harry Potter video. So as you can see, I am in a new location today. Um, I am next to all of my Harry Potter items here on my magical Harry Potter shelf. Today's video is going to be unboxing two wands from Noble Collection. These wands were gifted to me by my boyfriend, Nate. They were Easter gifts, and I know you're probably thinking, Alyssa, it's June. Why are you just now unboxing Easter gifts? And great question. Um, the reason that it's taken me so long to film this video or to unbox these two items is because they actually both just arrived today from UPS. Um, Nate had ordered them back in April, but because of COVID and a stay-at-home order and the state of Virginia being shut down, Noble Collections, which is based in Virginia, at least one of the locations is, the other location is in the UK. Um, the one here in the States was closed, so you could make orders, but they were unable to ship any of them until that stay-at-home order was lifted. So they are slowly starting to get back into their rhythm and groove, um, and they started shipping out all pending orders on June 8th. So that is where my order came into play. So my order was shipped, both items finally arrived today, and so I just wanted to hop on real quick, do this video for you guys so I could share with you the two items that I received. So the two wands I received are a normal size wand here, and then I also have this really big wand, and I'm not sure I'm actually gonna be able to fit it into the frame, but I will try my very best. So let me just lift it up here. Nope, it is too large to fit fully into the frame, but as you can see, it is a really large item, and I'm sure a lot of you can probably guess um, whose wand that could be just due to the size of it. Um, but I'm actually going to save that big item for last. So we are actually going to open up the smaller of the two wands first. So here is the box for the smaller wand. It just came in a standard cardboard box um, with the Noble Collection uh, label on there. And then um, when we actually open it up here, okay so it does come in this smaller box um, and it does say fragile on there so we're going to open that up all right and what we have inside we have queenie goldstein's wand so the thing that i really love about um this wand box is the retro like label that they use for her it's very elegant and then it's this really pretty kind of like olive green box and then on the bottom of the box it just says fantastic and then on the back it just says fantastic beast queenie goldstein um with the wizarding world label on there and also the Warner Brothers label. So, and then it just says from the Noble Collection creators of finely crafted treasures. So let's go ahead and open her up. So we take off the top lid and then um, what you see is just the bottom of this box with like this pretty um, star magical print on it. And then here we have this really fine fabric um, that just encloses it all in there. So if we just take that off here, the wand is encased in um, a form-fitting foam um, with this velvet material. And then I'll just give you a quick little look here of how it looks when it's in the box. So if we take out her wand, what we have is this really pretty wand here. And so her wand has this really pearl-esque um, end here. Um, with, it's really shimmery glitter. And then we have this really pretty part here. And then it's just a nice solid black wand. And then there we go. So we have 
Queenie Goldstein. So I'll put that in the inside and then we can go into um, kind of talking about the different specs of the wand. So just hang tight. All right, so I did want to give you all a closer glimpse of Queenie's wand when it is fully unboxed. So as you can see, we have the lid and we have this fine fabric that encases the wand in the box. And then um, you can also kind of see this form fitting foam that I had mentioned that is covered in that velvet felt. So it prevents any scratches on the wand and it also holds it snugly in the box so it won't fall Queenie's out. Queenie's wand is 14 inches in length and all Noble Collection wands are created with resin and they most of them do have a metal core in the inside to hold up the stability of the wand. Queenie's wand in particular the body of the wand is solid black and then the handle up here has this gold design here that is um, almost like triangular shaped. And then the handle here is made of mother of pearl. So you definitely do see that shell shape here. And then if I kind of turn it, you see the full shape of it there. And then in the sunlight too, you can see that shimmer and shine coming off of that too. So it really is um, an elegant wand and it's perfect for anyone who is a fan of Queenie like I am. She is my favorite character from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. So here is Queenie's wand. The next one that I'm going to be unboxing and talking about today is Hagrid's wand. So something um, about his wand is not only the size, but um, the uniqueness out of it. So his wand is the umbrella wand. So I'm actually going to take off this branded sleeve here so we can go ahead and kind of look at the box. So I'm not even able to hold it fully into the um, the frame, but as you can see, it is quite large. Um, so his box is the standard um, Ollivander wand box. So it does have, make sure I don't hit anything behind me. It does have this um, this label here and his wand box is um, brown on the top and then tan on the bottom. So we're just gonna open it up here. Okay. This is lovely. I don't even need to talk because that's how amazing it is. I don't even know how to get this out of the box. Okay, hold on. Oh, how fun. So it does come with a little packet in there. And then I'm still trying to figure out how to get this out of the box, guys. So just bear with me. There we go. Okay, so they did package it up pretty nicely in the box. And then they did put some plastic over it. Um, to prevent any dust getting on there. So if we take a look at his wand here, look at it in all of its glory. So the handle of the umbrella itself is the wand. And then we have the umbrella shield here. And then at the tip is the, the final of his wand here. So Noble right. collection. And then here is a close up view of Hagrid's umbrella wand. So I have laid out the umbrella next to the box so you can see the comparison in size. Now, in the inside of the box, there is two cardboard wedges that hold the wand in place. It doesn't have the standard foam um, in there that the other wand boxes have. So due to the size and the nature of this wand, they had to kind of improvise with how it would be stored inside of the box. 
as but we take a closer look at Hagrid's wand, his wand is that pretty light oak wood color. And then there is a gold ring design on the handle of his wand. As we move up the wand, we have the light pink umbrella shield that is closed with a button and a loop. And then the final of his wand or the tip of the umbrella. Okay, so I did undo that button closure. And so this is like any standard umbrella. Um, Noble Collections does classify this as fully functional. So if you absolutely wanted to, you could use it for it is like um, any other type of umbrella that you would buy. So it does have that push up mechanism. So if I go ahead and push up on that now, it does fully click and open up the umbrella shield. And so the size of Hagrid's wand is almost the size, if not exactly the same measurements as a child size umbrella. So you can see it fully open there. I'll try to give you a little bit better view here. So there we go with high quality materials and it does measure to be 31 and a half inches in length. Hagrid's umbrella wand does retail for $59 even and there we go. All right, so if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you do wanna see more magical videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are aware of whenever I upload content. And I hope you all have a magical day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.